Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to the uh, Linux networking commands, my friends. So in the previous session, we have discussed 10 uh, Linux networking command and in today's session also I am going to discuss another 10 Linux networking command my friend. So let's start with command number 11 my friend. But if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification my friend. Please do subscribe to this channel more and more so we can grow this channel together my friends. So friends, let's start with command number 11 and in this command, I am going to change the default gateway of my RHEL9 of my Linux operating system. So uh the command which we are going to use over here is root at default gateway 192.168.72.1 my friend and this command is we can use it for manipulating the routing tables my friend okay so let me show you so here you can see if you run the command you already know we have run in the previous session so what is the current uh, uh gateway over here is this one so this one i am going to change with which command root and then add default that is gateway and then 192.168.72.1 my friend enter so now you run the same command and check you can see the default gateway i have added this one correct so let's move on to the next command my friend so the next command is ip tables hyphen l Okay, this IP table hyphen L is administration tool for IPv4 packet filtering and NAT. So if you run IP tables hyphen L, so it's going to see a show over here. There is no, as of now, I have set any policy or chain over here. So this is absolutely a flushed IP table. So if you set here any policy or anything, so you can restrict the traffic, my friend. Okay. So let's move on to the next command, my friend. That is TCP dump hyphen I E T H zero means why we use this command to dump the traffic on a network. Okay. If you can run the command call TCP dump hyphen I and then just give the interface name. What is your interface name? So for that, we need to run the command before this one if config. So all the commands are interlinked with each other. This is why I am showing all these commands to you, my friend. Okay. So you can see the interface is not ETH0 over here. Okay. So the interface over here is this one. Right. So I am going to run the command, my friend, that is TCP. Let me clear this one first. Okay. TCP dump hyphen i and then i need to give my interface name over here right enter so you can see i am getting all the output over here drop previous to tcp dump okay so you are getting all the outputs here my friend my host name is not set so i am getting all the outputs over here so it's gonna take time to give the complete output so what i am going to do over here is i am going to do a control c so you can try in your system what final output is coming here my friend so friends as you can see that i did control c because it's going to take time so the video will be very lengthy so you can try it from your end uh, right so you can check the complete output and this is how this command works my friend tcp dump hyphen i and you need to give the interface, uh, interface uh, name my friend so friends uh, let's move on to the next command the next command is your sshd service normally you know ssh we use it that is secure shell to connect uh, to any machine virtual machine okay so if it, it is mainly for open ssh daemon that is sshd d stands for daemon over here so if you have to restart your sshd service so why we do this command my friend why we run this command let me show you first of all so this is my virtual console so you will not get access to this one directly and this is the mobile extern or we i we can call this one as your uh, normally ssh or you can say like putty same it's a uh, remote login client ssh client also we can call it as a okay so if you see here if i run this command system okay sys system ctl okay status 
एस एस एच डी डॉट सर्विस माई फ्रेंड ओके सो यू कैन सी दिस पर्टिक्युलर सर्विस इज रनिंग सो एज सुन एज आई स्टॉप दिस सर्विस दिस एस एस एच कनेक्शन विल बी लॉस्ट एंड यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द एरर लाइक नेटवर्क कनेक्शन एरर समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके सो इफ आई डू अ सिस्टम सीटीएल स्टॉप okay so i am going to lost my connection it's asking me my password because this requires a super user permission my friend okay so it's failed it's access denied uh, let me try once again with the command sudo see this time it works my friend okay so as soon as this one so i lost my connection now after this one after that you are going to lost the ssh connection so you will not be able to connect through putty okay and you will be not able to connect through any secure shell my friend that is ssh client and here also if you run this command that is system ctl okay and status sshd dot service okay so you can see currently the service is in inactive okay and if you have to start this service okay just do a start over here okay so you can see now if you run the same command now the it's in active phase my friend so this is how we troubleshoot sshd dot service means open ssh issues my friend okay so friends let's move on to the next command that is telnet command and uh, as i told you compared to ssh telnet is not secure my friend ssh is secure command normally if you use this command explicitly you need to install this command in your linux operating system my friend so here uh, telnet command we use it for user interface to the telnet protocol so let me show you how we can use telnet command my friend okay uh, uh, let's first see whether telnet command uh, let's first see whether telnet command is installed or not so just run command called telnet and just give www dot google dot com my friend so you can see clearly uh, it's telling that uh, there is no telnet installed so for that what you need to do is you just do a run a run this command so run this command my friend uh, you can run this one dnf install telnet okay enter so it's going to check some okay so it's asking me a uh, that uh, whether you want to install or not so i'm going with install so you need to install this one explicitly but remember as i told you telnet is not secure command okay in org level also you need to get permission because telnet command uh, if you use telnet command so chances that when you trying to connect to a server in between packet loss will happen and intruder can hack your machine also this is why we use ssh that is secure shell it using a tunneling and it's using a encryption also my friend when you are connecting to a remote server okay by using any client ssh client okay so yeah let's come to the point see now it's telling that it's trying to connect my friend okay if i can see uh, if it will not trying to connect so you can try to see uh, with some other server also this is how it's going to give output i am going to give my own server uh, original.com okay so it's telling trying to connect my friend okay so if both are internally connected if you have to check some port is open or not so and the ip also you can check the connectivity from this server because i have both the server dns is different okay both are in different network so obviously it's not going to give me any output you can see it's it's uh, connection refused okay so if both will be in the same network okay uh, all the network connection are well placed then you are going to get a proper output for this one otherwise it's going to tell you network is unreachable like that okay so this is how we can use telnet command my friend and you can try this one also okay let me show you telnet and then 192.168.72.112 okay just see this is the next server here also you can see 
this is the server my friend so if i do if config for the other server this is the ip okay the same ip i have tried to put over here so here also it's not coming connecting there is a reason behind that one you need to do a dns setup okay so both the server both the server name server should be uh, we need to put dns name server should be same then only this telnet is going to work out my friend okay so friends let's move on to the next command that is wget command and wget command is used for non-interactive network downloader if suppose you want to download any package from your internet you can use wget command my friends so here i am going to download a vsftpd package so let me show you how we can download by using wget command my friend so this is the package uh, i am going to copy this one okay and let's go here just run this wget okay and just paste over here and enter so you can see the package is downloaded and even if you do a ll over here you will come to know it's downloaded in slash temp directory my friend okay so let's move on to the next command my friend that is cull command and cull command is used to command line tool for transferring data with the url so i'm going to show this one with my own uh, website so you will come to know how exactly a curl command is working my friend okay so just clear this one and run this command called curl and you can give https colon slash slash earth original dot com okay so you can see i am getting a complete html of so it means the data transferring is happening and my website is absolutely fine and it's up and running my friend okay i'm getting all the html pages my friend and all the links and url and everything so friends let's move on to the next command and that is nmap command it is very important so normally nmap command will be not installed to your system so what i would say that please use nmap command or you can install same way like i have installed the telnet so it is mainly used for network exploration tool and security scanner okay so you can use this command uh, nmap hyphen small s and p okay so let's see how it's working over here and there is also one more thing friend uh, for this you need to uh, register your rhel machine rhel 9 to red hat network and for that what you need to do is see friends so this is the command you need to use uh, i'll put this one in the description okay so and you need to give your uh, rhel means the website the portal okay username and password and you will be able to register with rhel network my friend okay so i have already done this one so this is why my em is up to date okay so friends just run the command called n map hyphen small s capital p 192.168.1.0 slash 24 so it's going to scan your complete network range my friend here it's gonna take time to give you the output but you need to wait for some time so oh, friends you can clearly see uh, we are getting the output with the nmap command so let's move on to the next command my friend uh, that is if stat command and this command we use it for handy utility to read network interface statistic my friend so let me show you how we can use this command so if you run this command if stat enter so you are going to get the output like this my friend and if you want to know more about if stat command okay so if stat command just do it like this here you can see it's uh, neatly print out the network interface statistic the utility keeps record of previous data displayed in the history files and default only shows difference between the last and the current call my friend okay so this is all about if start command my friend so friends i'm ending up the session here only thank you for watching this video for more videos like this just stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel my friend till then just do take care of your loved ones jai hind and bye bye my friend